a potential innovative solution to solve Victoria's stalled sewage treatment project tonight. The CRD is now asking Esquimalt to reconsider its opposition to the sewage treatment plant and relocating it at McLaughlin Point. And the CRD has sweetened the pot considerably. Mary Griffin is live in the Czech newsroom with more of the details. Mary. Well, Jim, it's a last minute blockbuster offer from the CRD <laughs> to break the impa impasse over the McLaughlin Point plant. Now, if you remember, earlier this year, Esquimalt Council refused to rezone the area to allow for the treatment plant to be located there. Now, that effectively stalled the $800 million project and jeopardizing half a billion dollars in federal and provincial funding. Now, an appeal to Environment Minister Mary Polak went nowhere. She refuses to intervene in the process. But the board made an offer to Esquimalt. Other municipalities will pick up Esquimalt's share, the capital cost of building the plant at McLaughlin Point. That's approximately $19 million. Esquimalt's share, zero. They receive the benefits of the plant but at no cost. Now the CRD, here's the hook. They want an answer from the Squimalt Council by July 16th so the plans can go on. And Jim Barb Desjardins calling this insulting offer and a slap in the face because it comes so long after the public meeting process in Esquimalt has long wrapped up. But it still has a chance. She agreed to bring it to Esquimalt Council before that July 16th deadline. Now, everyone agreeing they are staring down the barrel of a tight deadline in order to qualify for that important federal and provincial funding. And in the end, Mayor Desjardins agreed and Esquimalt will consider this offer by the deadline. Jim? Wow, another incredible <laughs> twist in this big project. That's All right, right, Mary, thank you very much. Mary Griffin reporting from the Czech Newsroom.